Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, Keto Cooking. Today we're going to be doing some split chicken legs. That's right, I'm going to cut along the bone, open up the meat a little bit. This will give it a little bit faster cook time for me. And actually gives it a little bit more crunch. Almost gives you that, that chicken wing kind of feeling to it. I just cut along the top knuckle. Cut along the bone, pull it out a little bit. And that's it. It's almost like butterflying. This is real good. Now, my seasoning, I'll be using salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. SPGO, my favorite type of rub to put on there. Now, equal parts, a tablespoon of each. shaker and I will be putting this on both sides. Great flavor. Honestly you don't need too much more than with that right there. Like I said, get a little heavy handed with the spice and it's a little hot. So we're gonna lighten it up a little bit. Normally, I don't use any sugar whatsoever because I am a diabetic. The recipe that I have that I came up with on here, I use cocoa, cocoa powder, no sugar I had it. Also, I'll be using a half a cup of black coffee. Here again, being diabetic, I am not a big fan of this monk fruit, but it'll serve the purpose to try to take some of that heat away. Not really take it away, but sweeten it up a little bit so you don't really taste that hot. Coffee gives it a good, deep, rich flavor. Now I'll let this sit. I'll let it thaw out a little bit, and then I will put it in the pot and bring it up to, a little bit up to temperature and add a little bit more spice to it. Garlic, onion, um, and a little Chinese five spice to it. But there it is. My wife comes up with these different ideas. I keep telling her I need bigger funnels. Well, there you go. Top of the bottle. <laughs> it works. Into my squeeze bottle. I'll fill that up. And the rest will go into a jar. Into the refrigerator. And it's just stay for a couple weeks. But If you have never ever had bok choy before, it is a great vegetable. Very low in carbs if you're doing keto. In general, it's very good. Using a lot of oriental dishes, great. It's out of the oven for now. I'm going to be putting on some of my homemade barbecue sauce on here. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. But I'm going to just be adding some of the barbecue on it. I'm going to put it back in again just to uh, let it incorporate into the meat. And I'll be doing both sides. And the total cook time on this, I believe, was like 30, about 35 minutes. Okay, 
into my lock. Olive oil. Garlic. That's about two tablespoons of garlic. A lot of garlic. Into the wok is bok choy. I julienne this. Now, that is amino. Put that in. Much better than soy sauce. This doesn't take long to cook. This comes out very, very nice. It has a little crunch to it. Great flavor. I'm getting ready to plate this up. Well, there it is. Split chicken legs with bok choy, garlic, and soy. Great dinner. Barbecue sauce came out really nice. Listen, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Keto cooking.